Andy, thank you. Now it's breaking news out of Norfolk. A lockdown at Maury High School is over. Um, but a student is still at the hospital taken after what Norfolk Public Schools described as a minor explosion this afternoon. Center News Science Jason Marks is live at the high school. And Jason, what have you learned? Well, Anita, I can tell you Norfolk police investigators are still here on the scene looking into what happened this afternoon here at Maury High. That's hours after the lockdown was lifted and kids were allowed to leave for the weekend. It was the ending of a school week none of the students at Maury High School in Norfolk was expecting. 10th grader Taylor Stewart was in class around 1030 when she heard a bang. All I heard was this big, big sound. I look up and turn over. I didn't see nothing. So I thought it was a firecracker. Just then, she saw her teacher run across the room. And she said, he's bleeding. And all I saw was blood just dripping down on the floor. And the boy, he just sat there and he was just shocked. He was in shock. He didn't scream. He didn't do none of that. Stewart says the blood was coming from the boy's hand. She didn't know what to think. It was petrifying because I never been inside this situation or been in, like, in the circuit, circle of this situation. Shortly after that, the school went into lockdown. Police rushed the scene in search of a potential gun. Just to run to the school and to uh, find my kid and hopefully she's okay. At the same time, rumors spread like wildfire. Parents wanted to know what was going on. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. School officials say the teenager was playing with some bullets and lit them on fire. That caused the explosion. I was just shaking. I was, I had no words for it. I was petrified. The lockdown was lifted just after 3 o'clock a day students won't soon forget. And school officials say the young boy was rushed to the hospital where he should be okay. Of course, this investigation into what happened continues. And that's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.